This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. My name's Elena. I'm 63. <laughs> Being a grandma is one of the most important things in my life. Hi, honey. Good to see you. I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. You see her? I have the most beautiful grandchildren in the world. <laughs> I love you right now. First time it's big hug. I do, I do, I do. When I look in Joshua's eyes, I see a smart little boy who probably does pick up on things when he shouldn't. He knows something's been wrong with Grandma. I'm addicted to crystal meth. Got one, I dropped one, then one, there it is. I got it. She definitely okay. puts herself in bad situations. I'll probably call you in a couple of days. You don't get speed from friendly, nice, non-threatening people. She's an elderly woman, and they could see her as an easy target. Thanks. She could be picked <laughs> up any minute for money and beat up. I'm one of those people that love to mix drugs. I like buffets to eat, and I like drugs to mix. The doctor that she is seeing is very, very generous with the prescription pills. <laughs> she is so doped out on her pills. <laughs> you know, one accident after another, one fall after another. Oh, God. Sometimes that just happens to me. I'll fall flat on the ground, and I'll stay where I'm at and go to sleep. My grandma, she looks like a zombie. Lifeless, sulking, and... I think of my grandma dying pretty much every time I even talk about her. I know she's not gonna be here for too much longer. I always knew I was adopted from day one. My mom told me, I chose you, you're a special baby. I was picked and chosen personally. Growing up, Elena was not afraid to go against the grain. Her personality was lively and adventurous and so rebellious. I got suspended at least once every year. She would push it with the skirt and she would try to, you know, hike it up and hike it up and she knew it was against the rules. Oh dear, 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 that was bad. But it was just who I was. Every time I got in trouble at high school, my mother cried. She talked to me if I did something wrong, and that made me feel bad enough because I disappointed her. I love my mother more than anything on this earth, so I tried very hard to do things so that she wouldn't get disappointed in me. There were expectations put on my mom for her to succeed in school, for her to get married and have children and become a conservative Catholic. When I was young and growing up, I felt that I had some attractions and feelings to girls that maybe I shouldn't have. But I sure as hell wasn't going to say anything about it, you know? In that day and age, that was just not acceptable. I tried to disregard any attractions I might have. But if a woman walked by and I saw her and I was attracted, I was. It's something you can't hide, but you can keep in sight. So I shoved it down in.
And I knew that's what you were supposed to do, you should grow up, marry a man, and have kids. But I think that since I had suppressed any type of feeling that I might have had for women, and, and, and thinking that this was the life I was supposed to live, I didn't think it was that great. I wanted to be honest with her. For my mother, that was just the worst thing that could happen. My mom said, oh, I don't want to hear that. There was no talk. There was no explaining. There was no nothing. She turned off. She didn't want to hear it. She never heard of such a thing, period. And it was so painful. I felt completely alone. No family, no friends, totally devastated by myself. Over the years, she continued to do drugs. Her physical health just really started to decline. Cassandra's grandchildren were my grandchildren. She said, I want to help you, Elena. I want you to get strong. Grandma Cassandra and Grandma Elena, they were so close. They were like soulmates. I loved Cassandra very, very much. I've never been closer to anybody. I didn't feel judged. I could be 10 times more truthful than I could to any of my family. Cassandra accepted me. When she died, it devastated me. She sat in her room all day, every day, and she would pop pills like crazy. She aged so rapidly during that time, and her addiction just got worse and worse and worse. I'm sick of letting you get away with this. If you are not willing to take part in this recovery process today, you need to know that there will be consequences for your decision. I will no longer have any respect or hope for you. You will not be allowed to come or stay at my house. You will lose me forever as your granddaughter, and my heart will be forever hurt and broken by you. Will you please go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only because you're going. We're going for okay. you. I need it. I need yes, it. Yes, you do. Thank you, Mom. I have 90 days clean today, no longer to be used. I feel good about myself, and I think one of my flaws was uh, trying to get acceptance from people. <laughs> and now I am at peace with myself. I know my kids, my family are proud of me. I think I'm back. Things swell.